politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Oh yes, a very good morning. My name is Amela Zmilo, a.k.a. Fula, and I'm back to keep you posted on the biggest stories making headlines in the country. Uh, but in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, Uganda police has confirmed the fatal accident that happened last evening at Buloba Forest Park, killing five people on spot. Our preliminary findings have indicated that a truck registration number UAX uh, 628S loaded with uh, packed water from Kampala side heading to Michiana had a tire burst and uh, lost control and uh, rammed into five motor vehicles killing five people. Now police says yet to be confirmed the number of victims have been rushed to Mulago Hospital for medical help. Uh, we pray for the souls of the deceased to rest in peace and a very quick recovery to the injured. <music> Now, Gonzaga Mugalula, the driver who knocked the Minister of Lands, Sam Mayanja's daughter, uh, that is Belinda Birunji, last year in October, has been remanded to Luzira Prison on charges of causing death by reckless driving. Uh, Birunji, 23 years, was knocked by a trailer while riding on a border border in Ntinda. Uh, she was also a graduate of uh, Uganda Christian University, having received her Bachelor of Arts in Industrial and Fine Art. May her soul continue to rest in peace. <music> Well, another top Ugandan journalist identified as Mr. Dennis Kalansi has died. Kalansi was attached to the presidential press unit. Uh, this development has been confirmed by the presidential press secretary, that is, uh, Mr. Walusimbi. Walusimbi said Kalansi is most celebrated for his weekly program, Agafembuga, which he used to profile the activities of our President Museveni on UBC TV. Mr. Dennis's death comes a week after we lost another top NTV Uganda's journalist, that is uh, Edward Muhumuza, who died in a fatal accident on Entebbe Expressway. May their souls continue to rest in peace. Now, in the past weeks, Pastor Aloysius Bujingo has been heard attacking the president of NUP, His Excellency Bobby Wine, and Pastor Robert Kayanja. Now, Bobby Wine, in a recent interview, said the Bible he reads talks about false prophets and Pastor Bujingo could be one of them. Now, on the other hand, Pastor Robert Kayanja told his followers to calm down, but very soon he will respond, and uh, Pastor Bujingo will definitely know that he has responded. It's a matter of time. Those ones have their own agenda, leave them alone. But when we respond, they will know that we have responded. Just leave them with their own agenda. But we are going to receive to Japan Kula. That is for sure. They will take off. And they will know. They will know. They will know. They will know. Now, the Kabak of Buganda, Ronald Mwenda Mutebi, has returned back in the country after months of official work abroad, according to a statement by BBS Terefina. The Kabaka returned through Entebbe Airport and welcomed by the first deputy, Katikro, Dr. Tuaha Kawase, on behalf of Katikro Peter Maiga and headed to his palace. There have been speculation on whether he will attend the Kabaka birthday run organized by the kingdom to improve service delivery in Buganda. I'll keep you posted on that and of course we continue to wish him a very quick recovery. Now, the former president of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta's farm, was recently attacked by unknown people and a lot was stolen from the farm, including the animals. Now, President Museveni's son, Jeno Mhozi Kainerugaba, through his Twitter platform, revealed that they will be sending UPDF soldiers to protect him. Uh, he also said they will beat those hooligans to pulp. 
Now, His Excellency Bobby Wine, the president of uh, NUP, has commented on this tweet that President Museveni and General Muhozi Kainerugaba should stop thinking that they can export their repression to any country. And Bobby Wine hopes that Kenyan people never allow that to happen because they will never love the results. Now, Bobby Wine has also called upon Ugandans to prepare and get ready for countrywide protests like it is happening in the Plus 254 Kenya. He said in Gomba, where he had gone to check on Kasaka Secondary School. Kachuka. <laughs> Now, President Museveni's government has remanded the Reverend identified as Chintu Muhanga and the six other people for holding meetings uh, to pray for unfulfilled government's pledges. Uh, Reverend Chintu says President Museveni must fulfill the pledges he made to the people of Fort Porto and the country at large. Otherwise, this is the beginning to demand for the fulfillment of those promises. Well, finally, for now, a fresh graduate of Makere University, identified as Flavia Nagasha, was recently discovered hanging dead in church in the Rampara district in western Uganda. Uh, this death is being investigated by police as a possible suicide. Nagasha recently completed her Bachelor's of Business Administration at Makere University. Nagasha's friend revealed that her father also died recently under uncertain circumstances. Well, that is the latest update on the Buzz UG this Sunday morning. I don't know what you have to say about these stories, but in case you have anything you want to say about any of these stories, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melas Milo, aka Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.